Here's how to uh, rebuild your dash cluster on an 87 through 93 Mustang 5.0. You see I have quite a few clusters here because I fried these panels by laying them up on the, the dash when I was working on it. Not once, but twice. So you can get this panel right here. This panel right here through National Parts Depot. I just found this. I didn't even know they made it. The shipping and all. It's uh, about 119.42. Okay, these clusters, uh, one like this in good shape. About $3.99 on eBay. You can get the ones with the for the six-cylinder a lot cheaper, but uh, if you got the 5.0, you need this one uh, because it uh, the tack won't work right. Let's see, let me show you what I got going on here. Okay, here's eBay, and here I'm looking for one. Okay, this one right here looks pretty good. Let me get my bearings here. Okay, this one looks good for 175. Where'd that go? Okay, for 175, you'll get free shipping with it. No, shipping's ten dollars. But it doesn't say whether it's uh, 87 through 89 or the 90 through 93. It doesn't say if it's a six-cylinder. That's the price is too good to be true. It doesn't say much about it. So that's probably off of a out of a six cylinder. If not, that's a real good deal on that one right there. But let's go ahead and look for for another one here on eBay. Show you what I'm talking about. Okay. That one's no good for you. It's uh for an 86. It's 87 through 99. For 2.3 liter that's not going to help you but it's a good deal if you got that 2.3 liter just parts nothing but parts here sometimes you'll find one on here for around 300 here that's for an 86 that's not going to help you 99 that's just the bezel so you see what I'm up against here so you can go ahead and buy this part And to remove it, it's just a bunch of screws on it. You've got these little clips right here. They're not hard to deal with. There we go, right here. Show you the back of it here. Here's how I got it rigged up. I'm just working on it. Flip it over here for you. I'm just happy to have it working. I'm going to get my 89 LX working again. Here's the part. Brand new. Not very good. These are the little clips I'm talking about. They, uh, you have to take it apart from the front. Take it all. It's not hard. Um, here's the plugs right here, and I'm going to show you a wiring diagram on these. Easy to find. I've got a lot of them. Okay. And then I'm going to get in here, and I'm going to remove. There's a... You can take a little screwdriver and see that little clip in there? You can pull these pins out for things you don't need anymore. Okay. So let's go over here. Let me show you the wiring diagrams on both clusters. Okay, here it is. It's easy to find online, by the way. Uh, let's go up. Uh, let's start with the 87 through 93. Here's the pin out, and the pins are, the numbers are located on the plugs, on the side of this plug. This will be the gray one, this will be the brown one, the 250 or the 251. And here's the, the way it looks. For that, that will be for that gray plug. And we can move over right here. 
and that's for the brown plug. And let's see, let's see if I've got the other. Okay, that's here's the 90 through 93 chart. Go up here so you can you can pause this if you need to. You can fix anything you want. Get your tack working. Okay. And then here's that one right there. Pretty easy to find online. And that's the way it goes. I've tried LED bulbs and everything in this thing. And I've been working you know, a 30 year owner for these cars here. So, you know, I've made a few mistakes. But looks like a Christmas tree now. Easy to deal with. The bulbs are real simple to deal with. Those, you can get them anywhere. So, I hope that helps you out. If you got one of these clusters that's not working, you can definitely get it working again. With, uh, you got to get this, this thing right here. National Parts Depot. Hope that helped you out. Good luck on those Fox bodies.